Hello. Happy Halloween, you sexy people. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Greg Maloney. Yes, I know it's not Halloween. Shut up. Movies have a special place in my heart right next to food and insecurities. So whenever I take time out of my busy life to sit down and watch a movie, I hope it's a good movie. Unfortunately, this is not one of those movies. Uh, also, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Consider subscribing to watch a terribly unfunny dude try to be funny because that's pretty funny. Haunting on Fraternity Row. This movie exists and you have to sit through it and suffer with me. That's not your choice, sorry. We're gonna have to eat buttered popcorn halfway through the movie, start making out. I mean, I don't make the rules. I live by them, baby. Haunting on Fraternity Row is a low budget 2018 movie. <laughs> my prime year, where it follows a bunch of frat boys and girls at this like luag extravaganza and just everyone gets killed. Frat boys and sorority girls always seem to be like top of the list when it comes to cheesy low budget slasher victims. Well them and like sexy teens. Actually I guess they can go like kind of neck and neck. But will these frat men and women survive the demonic entity that haunts the house? Spoiler alert, no. So come with me and let's shit our pants together. So we start the movie off with a cop car receiving notice of some happenings happening at a fraternity house. Then the cop pulls up to the house to see a dude with a cup on the porch. Once that's done, then we get to see probably the worst font for any horror movie. No, for any movie in general. This font looks like some middle school kid edited it in iMovie and just decided that was good. After that, we jumped 16 hours earlier to how this movie's filmed. It's like a found footage film, which for some movies it works, this one it doesn't, and if you're hoping it changes halfway through, not really. Okay, just a few things. Thank you for showing us some man ass crack. It's only been like two minutes and two, the perspective we're seeing in this shot right now, it doesn't really work logically. If you were to look at it where this dude's pointing the camera, it should definitely be pointed downwards. <laughs> ah, so I'll have to blur this, but he, what he's showing is an impressively sized... And then proceeds to air hump his buddy in the back with it. For a movie called Haunting on Fraternity Row, I don't, I don't know what I expected. Jesus, man! What are you That's doing? It's a prank! It's me! Yeah, it's a prank? It's a prank about. No, 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 no! no. What did you do? Oh my god, you killed him! Oh, fuck. I gotta hide the bodies. I gotta hide the fucking bodies, Wiggle! Well, that was uh, a bit excessive. Anyway, enough with seeing um, that. Uh, we get introduced to more characters, and then we get to see the layout of the house, which really doesn't make sense. It's kind of confusing. Uh, just don't think too much about it, and then you'll be fine. But more just characters that'll probably die in the future, and. Oh, did, did he puke again? Oh, you puke, you get the balls. Carlito, oh. oh, okay. A lot, a lot more of that stuff. Hey, uh, ass white. Huh? Turn the fuck around! Thank you. Jesus, that could have been you. <sighs> Whoa, why so many cameras? This is our last fucking luau. Mm -hmm. It deserves to be, no, mm -hmm. it demands to be remembered. All right, fine, but you gotta promise me that no one's gonna see this except for us because it'll ruin my life. I mean, all of ours, seriously. I know, I know. And that right there is the movie telling us why it's filmed in this way, because they want to have this video for the future, blah, blah, blah. The found footage quality to this movie doesn't work. I don't like it. And they expect me to believe that there are even more people there with cameras that are everywhere at any time. I'm sorry, but I'm I'm gonna call bullshit on that one. Oh, this is some exciting stuff, huh? Dude, it's act one. We didn't know the characters. Okay, well, get to know this character. Oh god, he's just digging her out. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, what the oh. fuck is this? What? I thought this was just for the party, man. Yeah, the party started, my brother. Ugh. Oh. All right, well, keep me the fuck out of it because I want to keep my legacy intact. Yeah. As he proceeds to hit the bong while still on camera. <laughs> hit, 
hit the bong. Is is that how you say that? Hit the bong. Yo, wait. You know what? I don't care actually. Wait, were you just Elijah's dad? Oh yeah. We were cruising at ten thousand feet, man. You took the safe. copter? Yeah. Well, I, I took it there. I had to hoof it back, but it was so fucking worth it. What the hell am I watching? Is this a horror movie or did I accidentally pull up a live stream of an actual frat house party? Okay, en enough with these guys. Let's just move on to the next scene. We finally get introduced to the women in this movie and thank God, I don't know how much longer I could have taken with these roid boys. Hello, hello, my KLP beauties. How are we on this fine luau morning? Uh, sober as fuck? Where's the booth? Maggie, I like the way you think. You should follow me. In fact, why don't all you follow me? No, hold on. I brought my pledges to help set up the fucking luau. I mean, they'll clean toilets, do dishes, laundry. Get these bitches dirty. Oh, all right. You know what? I think everyone in this movie is just a straight up idiot. No, Grant. Seriously, these girls suck. <laughs> You should think you're fucking good enough for Kappa Lambda Phi, but you're literally the most boring, awkward group of sluts I've ever seen. No! Oh, no. That was completely unnecessary. Am, am I missing something here? Again, is this a horror movie? Or am I watching hazing and slut shaming the movie? Okay, let's just move. Let's just move past it. Let's get to something scary, finally. But now without a party montage. Whoa! I'm the hottest face smoking in the sky. Tell the mother rapper stow in the towel. Hey. Get it right when I walk through the toe. Oh. Minimize all the haters, man. They hate on my face. Oh. They don't want to see me blessed on my pocket. <laughs> anyway, the guys find uh, things of beers, kegs, whatever you want to call them, and they have to move it down to the basement. Why do they have to put it in the basement? I don't know. But there's this guy named NASCAR, and the whole joke is, is he can only turn left. Not looking good at all. Left. Jesus fucking Christ, NASCAR, you can only turn left. What don't you understand? Because, because you know. <laughs> what the am I doing? What the fuck don't you understand about not dropping my beer? What? So NASCAR drops the keg and it breaks a hole in this clearly obvious fake wall and finally something happens. Good one, dude. Yes. You know, I think all of these guys are just giant man children. <laughs> I like to imagine these guys would just find any elementary level joke the funniest thing ever. Oh, fuck. Guys, guys! What? Huh? What? What? I just came up with the best joke ever. Well, let's hear it. Yeah, man, just lay it on me. Well, if you insist. No, you f Idiot the joke! Oh, oh, my bad dude, I thought you meant my dick. Just tell us the joke! Oh yeah, yeah, get this. What's a goat's favorite fruit? Booberries! <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Booberries. <laughs> oh, you know what that means. You puke! You, you get, get the nuts! nuts. Yeah. yeah! Let's go, <laughs> boys, boys! Bring them over, guys! What are you doing with that? Did this guy seriously just throw ice into a hole in the wall to see how deep it is? So they end up finding this hole in the wall that leads to a room with a bunch of lamps and lights and they all go in, stumble around for a bit, and then Biceps over here finds a cup on the floor, which obviously is important later. For the last four years, this guy has been lighting a candle, putting a smooth lube on it, and jerking off to some idea he's made up of this girl, right? I'm sure he's smashed her every single way. Raw dog anal, we hope, but the problem is all those sexual fantasies that he had, 
they're all mixed up, right? They're like this okay. this burrito. They're mushed together. It'll always be an amazing Claire Jerk burrito when they're all together, but if you take that burrito apart, you take that shit apart and you just eat the corn. It's just fucking corn, Dougie. Claire is fucking corn. She is boring. You know, I just I'm just I'm just gonna I'm just I'm just gonna go. So a lot more of just setting up the party, frat guy talk here, frat guy talk there, awkward moments, uh, this guy has erectile dysfunction. No, I'm not dealing with this erectile dysfunction oh, shit. Oh, I do not have a- Shall we learn about the house's past? Then we end up to like girl one and girl two talking to Roy boy one about- Oh, yeah. Oh, God damn, I am so aroused right now. Let me try this. Oh. You know, I gotta say, it's a little fucking tame for me. Something. Okay, so next is everyone getting ready for the luau, getting themselves hyped up. We learned from Dougie that this house used to belong to a killer, 13 people killed horrifically, blah, 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 was bought in the 60s as a frat house. Just f like whatever. We are maybe gonna consider letting you be one step closer being brothers of Sigma Tau. Real pants shit, am I right? So for about 20 to 30 minutes, this movie just forgets that it's a horror movie and just shows us a party. Thank you, Haunting on Fraternity Row, for wasting my time. I sat down right now, expected to soil my pants, and instead... Cool, now I'm bricked up looking at girls' butts. This is not what I wanted right now, dude. So Dougie goes to the basement for... Oh no, our ice bags. They melted. Who's back there? The basement's off limits. Wow. You sure you don't want to try that one again, bud? And uh, we're back to the party. Woo! Oh, okay. It's normal. It's an old house. They have rooms like that. They stored coal for heating and... Yeah. It's, yeah, yeah just it's really normal. Chill. Yeah, says the guy who found the room in the first place and had no idea what it was. So while everyone was dancing upstairs, having some brewskis, all the lights went out. So this guy, Dougie and Wiggles, go into the basement to find the uh, uh, box. Excuse me, what? What's the? What's the? Fucking, what's it? What is it? I'm blinking. Uh, fuse box. Oh, you idiot. <laughs> some uh, spooky shit happens. And then after the spooky shit, the lights in the cave turn on. Man. Wait. What is that? And when something scary like this happens halfway through the movie, it usually signifies that someone's screwed. Okay, then we're back to the party. We're going here, we're going there, he's trying to get fucked, he's already fucked. They both like each other, but won't say. He's scared out of his mind. The cup. What is the cup? And there's still 40 minutes left in this movie. So in order to stop the demon, or what we think is a demon, they have to trap it in this cup. No shadows, that's why the room is there, but what? What? So in order to stop the demon, you're supposed to contain it in the cup, but it was already a trap, and in order to, to stop it, it has to be in some place where there's no shadow, that's why the room with the lights. But how, when, what's with the killing, how did this demon come to be? Look, you know what? I don't, I don't care. I give up. I, I give up. I'm done. I'm out. Later. Okay, now we're finally getting into something good. No, just back to the awkward lovebirds. Fucking hell. Not until there's 18 minutes left in the movie does the horror actually start to happen, and I've become so bored watching this movie that I I don't even find the climax of this movie interesting. It just felt so abrupt and like out of nowhere that 
didn't feel like anything was happening. And the killing. What's with the cutting out of the eyes, demon? Like, get creative. You're at... You're killing a bunch of frat people at a luau party. Do something besides... <laughs> so we see people getting killed, some boobies, uh, more people getting killed, and then it ends up with these two lovebirds in the room waiting for the demon. This girl comes back out of nowhere, says she has to kill some like family line, uh, and then um, Dougie comes back. Oh, sweet, Dougie's back. All right, we're safe, guys. What? Yep, so in order to stop the demon, you're supposed to end the bloodline of the last person who survived death. But then what was the cup? What's the room for? And then we end the movie off where we began with a dude with a cup on the porch. And that was it. That was Haunting on Fraternity Row. You're welcome. From the bad acting, to the convoluted story, to the jumping back and forth between random side stories, to the horrible CGI, this whole movie was a mess. But for a movie called Haunting on Fraternity Row, what did you expect? Oscar winning performances and Marvel's level equivalent uh, special effects? No, all jokes aside, this movie set out what it wanted to be. A low budget, frat house horror movie. And that's definitely something I've never heard of, so good job. I know it may not seem like I don't like the movie because of how upset I get throughout the video, but I enjoy watching movies, good and bad, like this one. And it's just fun to make fun of movies and their faults. I read an interview with the guy who plays Wiggles and he said the filming was amazing, the entire production crew was super fun to work with, all the other actors had a great time. So these people just wanted to make a movie and they did that. It sucks ass but you know you win some you lose some. So this video was supposed to come out on Halloween but I didn't finish it in time. Then I had this idea to do like a Nightmare Before Christmas type of deal and just do horror movies before Christmas. and. I like the idea so much, so... For the next few weeks, up until Christmas, we're gonna be looking at horror movies. And then the week of Christmas, I'm gonna be looking at another bad Christmas movie. Don't worry, next year I actually have big things planned for Halloween and Christmas. I want to continue with my Greg's Haunted Bakery because that was fun to do last year. Uh, I'm going to be moving again, so we'll, we'll be in a new place. I'll have the room to actually film another Greg's Haunted Bakery. And then for Christmas next year, it'll be something different. Sorry for just the long like two month break. Actually, I think like three month break. The last one was in August. I apologize for that. Just. Work and school got a bit too um, too much for me at that time, but I have the time now, so thank you for sticking with me. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you very much. Consider subscribing, it's always free. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, stay safe, wash your hands. Bye bye. Good cup of joe.